Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 17 Super League Career Mode. We're playing as Manchester United. This is episode 12 and the final episode of the series. Here today we have two matches, the first of which is against Arsenal. We're facing the Gunners away. What a match that is going to be. And then we face the final match of the season against CSK in Moscow at Old Trafford. And mathematically, we have won the Super League career mode. But it is a big grudge match here today against Arsenal because we've obviously signed a lot of their former players like Sanchez, Ozil, who managed to leave in January. But Manchester City could get relegated from the Super League career mode, followed by CSK Moscow and, of course, Rebel Leipzig. Spurs looking a little bit green around the gills as well. So, guys, if you still are enjoying this Super League career mode and want to support the series and the channel, the best thing you guys can do is leave a like, subscribe, and let me know in the comment section down below your feedback. Who do you think is still going to make top four, and who do you think is going to be the top goal scorer? Okay, guys, let's get stuck into Arsene Wenger's Arsenal. Lacazette is playing up top along with Danny Welbeck and Cazorla from what we can see from the intro. Let's have a look who's actually... Oh, Welbeck on the left, Xhaka, Coquelin, Walcott, Mustafi, Koscielny, Kalasanak, Czech, and Hector Bellerin on the right. So, okay, this is going to be tasty. Let's get stuck in. Pogba, why the hell have they given Mkhitaryan so much room there? Whipping and weaving, Mkhitaryan makes it 1-0 just before the 24th minute. Mkhitaryan blitzkrieging, pushing forward. The Armenian, who looks very Brazilian in his play, obviously was that uh, Sao Paulo in his sort of younger days, makes it 1-0. Excellent stuff from Mkhitaryan. Eighth goal of the Super League career mode. Come on, United. Let's smack the Gunners here today. Right. Okay, Pogba is uh, only a little bit out. Tony Cruz scored a phenomenal free kick against Barcelona. 20 yards out. 27. Oh, only just over the bar. Unlucky, Tony. You did me proud, however, just before the 36th. Come on, United. Martial. Sanchez holding up the play with the back heel. Bale, look how much space we've created there from Romelu. Excellent stuff, but we couldn't uh, bury it. Koscielny, no way. Kolasinac, oh, get off it. Danny Welbeck facing his former side, the former United boy. Get it out, Pogba. What's this? <gasps> oh, my God. I've been absolutely done here. Santi Cazorla makes it 1-1 in the 89th. Oh, come off it, mate. We don't deserve to be l drawing this. That's bullshit. The Arsenal faithful run in and celebrate. DT's in the crowd going ballistic. But, um, yeah. God damn it. Fam blood conceding <laughs> in the, uh, oh my god, Sanchez, uh, sorry not Sanchez, Santi Cazorla gets his foot around it as well, David De Gea at full stretch, couldn't get to it, it's 1-1 here today against the Emirates, we've been dominating from the start as well. Come on, United. This is Fergie time. We've got three minutes. Zlatan, fresh off the bench with the... Oh, he's just nutmegged. Oh, my God. Romelu Lukaku saves the points. Rashford lifts him up. I don't believe it. Zlatan Ibrahimovic with the precision timing. Is it Xhaka? He just nutmegs Xhaka. Finds Lukaku in Fergie time. It's 2-1. Arsenal come back with a phenomenal goal. But it's Romelu Lukaku to save today. I'm absolutely ecstatic on the touchline. Zlatan fresh off the bench with the nutmeg. Finds Romelu. And what a way. What the... Like, imagine the circumstances of Romelu scoring his 20th Super League career mode goal. But that's it. The full-time whistle has blown a 2-1 victory over the Gunners here today. We've had some phenomenal performances in this Super League career mode, so hopefully we can make this last one against CSK Moscow memorable as well. Now, looking at the league table, we're currently first followed by Arsenal, Juventus, Chelsea, Bayern Munich, and PSG. I would have thought Barcelona and Real Madrid would have made the top six. It looks like Romelu has cemented the top goal scorer of the Super League career mode. Dortmund, Spurs, and Ar uh, yeah, Dortmund, Spurs, and Man City could get relegated. That's insane. 
you thought, I would actually think those teams would be sort of towards the top half. But at the end of the day, not everyone can win the Super League career mode and make the top five, top six. But let's get stuck into CSK Moscow. Okay, guys, we're going to be facing, we're going to be hosting and facing, I guess, the Rakuskis, the Russians, here today. I have no idea who they're going to be fielding or how well they're going to go. But we're absolutely still ecstatic. We're still partying from that victory against Arsenal. What a comeback. Let's have a look here. Um, Tosilic on the left. Akin Thieves, not a bad goalkeeper in FIFA. Vintio at the cam as well is quite good. The final match of the season. Gareth Bale on the life... Oh, on the right. Cuts it back with his left. Wasn't to be. Martial came from France. The English press said he had no chance. Mickey on a yellow. Finds Lukaku. Try and stretch this a bit. Tony. Oh, how's Tony Cruz broken away here? But he's put into Rosette, unfortunately. He's really slammed that over the bar. Pogba on the left. Oh, has he? Oh, he's just brought in Mickey. That's it. She's all over Red Rover. Too many United players in the box. <gasps> oh, my days. Are you kidding me? Oh, fucking threw my head back in my chair there. Diving backwards into goal. What a save from Akinfeev. The reaction time. Sanchez with the Ronaldo chop. Can't quite get it away. Only as far as Gareth Bale. Trying to put his right boot into it. Pogba. Paul Pogba. Ha! Akin Fever's having a field day out there. What are these reactions? Zlatan. Fresh off the bench. Ibrahimovic. Ah, he's dinked the crossbar. God fucking damn it, man. We should be winning this match. We've dominated CSK and Moscow from the get-go. Come on, United. Lukaku. Ibra. Oh! How did that not go in? He's still missing clear-cut chances. Ebra, I don't like it. But that's it. The full-time whistle has blown, guys. We have won the Super League career mode this season. I just want to thank each and every one of you for all the fantastic support. If you've left a like, a comment, a favorite, I really do appreciate it. A favorite? Favorites don't... The favorites don't happen anymore. It's like, subscribe, comment, and... Uh, yeah, just thank you for the support. A favorite. Uh, I, I kind of like that feature when you used to favorite videos. Anyway, where was I? Thank you for all the support. I really do appreciate it. I wouldn't be where I am as a YouTuber without your guys' support. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so, so much. Now I'm excited and keen and ready to go for FIFA 18. The Super League career mode is wrapped up now, guys. What a season has been. Man, those insane goals from Mikatari and Pogba. If you guys remember that episode earlier on, I was like, whose goal was better? Um, we're going to be running through the stats now. We're going to be showing the expanded league table, who got relegated from the Super League career mode. And I'm going to show you how the other league shaped up around the world. Obviously, for example, in La Liga, I managed to take out... Atletico Madrid, Barcelona, and Bayern Munich. Sorry, uh, Barcelona, Real Madrid. However, I've had to obviously put three Premier League teams in the Liga. So I want to see how well they do. So Dortmund, CSK, Moscow, Leipzig got relegated. We managed to be first in the Super League career mode. Arsenal is an upset. Nobody picked Arsenal in second. Like, come on. Juventus third, Chelsea fourth, Bayern Munich sixth, Real Madrid, uh, sorry, Bayern Munich fifth, Real Madrid sixth. Should be a lot higher. PSG 7th. AS Monaco finishing in 8th. Doing really well. You're most welcome to pause and have a look at the expanded league table. The FA Cup was a Barcelona victory. 1-0 over Napoli. And we managed to win the EFL Cup over Spurs. Romelu Lukaku was the top goal scorer for Manchester United. 20 goals. Ozil was up there, but he scored like the majority of those goals for... Arsenal before he moved over. David De Gea with the clean sheets. But Marco Royce for Chelsea managed to pick up the uh, the main assists. Here's the squad. We're going to be going through the squad report as well. The 3-5-2. David De Gea went up a plus one. Lindelof with just a plus one. Bay with the two. Rojo with one. Gareth Bale didn't go up any. Tony 
with just the one. Pogba with a plus three. Martial with a plus three. Mickey didn't go up in stats. Romelu Lukaku with a plus three. 88 rated, the same as Sanchez. Ibra, unfortunately, went down. Rashford, Fabinho going up in stats. And Herrera. Renato Sanchez, we basically bought him in on an emergency loan. We didn't use him that much in the end, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, Borussia Dortmund got relegated. That's bonkers. Uh, Bale was the top transfer. Botang was up there as well. You're most welcome to look at the top deals. Uh, we didn't manage to get Modric. I would have quite liked to get him, but unfortunately we couldn't. Let's go through the finances and let's go through the shirt sales. Who do you think is going to be the biggest shirt sales? Lukaku followed by Pogba and Ozil. Bale, Cruz not up there towards the end. So Pogba, even though he... Uh, Signed this, or technically signed this season, didn't he? He uh, was second. Right. Career-wise, you're most welcome to look at the stats. 51 matches played, 34 wins. Um, potential job openings. Bayern Munich, Villarreal, Sevilla. More curiosity to uh, show that more than anything. Let's see how the other leagues shaped up around the world. How well did those other Premier League sides do? So uh, let's have a look at France. Swansea finished in 6th. Burnley in 11th. That's quite funny. Um, uh, Sunderland finished in 9th. Hull in 12th. Leicester finished in 4th. Stoke in 8th. Southampton in 10th, I believe it was. Right, moving along now. Everton finished in 3rd in the um, Portuguese League. Crystal Palace finished in 10th. Watford finished in 14th in La Liga. And that's it. Okay, guys. We're going to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. FIFA 18 is just around the corner. So let me know in the comment section down below what career mode you'd like me to do. Obviously, I'm going to be doing a Manchester United and Real Madrid. We could do another. Should I do the journey this year? I'm probably going to do another My Player. Stay tuned for Ultimate Team. And, uh, yeah, we'll go through all the career modes. And, uh, yeah, I'm really, really excited for FIFA 18. I can't wait to play career mode on it. But thank you very much for watching. Unfortunately, I have to end the video here. Like and subscribe if you haven't already want to support the channel. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me after this video. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram all in the description below. Highly recommend Twitter. Every single time I post a video, a tweet goes out. Much more reliable than the YouTube sub box. These days, to get all the notifications for the channel, you have to click subscribe and click the bell to join the notification squad. I do love reading those comments in the comment section down below okay check out um, my g2a affiliation link in the description below if you guys want to get yourself some cheap and reliable games maybe football manager maybe some cheap PSN and Xbox codes to buy packs check out the g2a affiliation link in the description below I do highly recommend it there's some really great prices on there so go check out g2a patreon steam group there as well stay tuned for more videos on the channel my name is Ben Simpson take care good bye Mares whips it into the box Royce that is just ridiculous with the layup Marco Royce